you can imagine all the all the chatting that I've heard that I overheard uh, when I was out in town today. I heard a lot of people saying, "Oh, we're gonna go into a new decade. It's gonna be, you know, a new turn. We're going from the 2010s to the 2020s." Yeah, it's a little bit exciting. My hope for 2020, I've got one big hope. Bon Jovi's new album is going to be a killer hit. Okay? I just got into Bon Jovi. Just one day I got... I was just bored and I was on Spotify. I'm like, let's listen to some Bon Jovi. And I listened to all their 80s albums from start to finish. All of them. So there was their self titled album. 7800 Degrees Fahrenheit, Slippery When Wet, and New Jersey. Seriously... When is Bon Jovi ever going to be back on top? Well, probably when their album comes out. You can never go wrong with Bon Jovi. And since Motley Crue's going is back on tour with uh, with three big acts, actually four, Joan Jett, Def Leppard, and Poison, I hope that they're all up for the job. Tommy... Uh, Tommy Lee, when I when I went and saw him live, Tommy Lee had recently recovered from tendonitis and he couldn't play for for a few months. So that was a bit of a that was a bit of a scare. But luckily, I got to see his drum solo, and that was whoa, just out of this world. The Crucifier, a roller coaster drum kit. Vince Neil, on the other hand, well, I hear a lot of people are worried about Vince Neil not being up for the job. I think Vince Neil's up for any job. He always shows up at uh, like press conferences and you know, he just seems pretty um you know, pretty decent guy to, you know, talk to, but you know, just don't get on Vince Neil's mean side. He's got a history of uh he's got a record dating back to the early 80s. <laughs> um 2019 was a big adventure for me. I got to meet so many new friends I um, well when I went and saw Iron Maiden I, b- I bought two tickets to see Iron Maiden because I knew I wanted to go with someone but who and my brother and sister said we work with someone who actually knows a lot about Iron Maiden maybe he could join you and I met him and you know we became friends and we both saw Iron Maiden and it was an amazing show Iron Maiden is my fifth concert I'm I say fifth because I include opening acts for concerts. So in the for the last five years I saw five bands in five years. Wow, that's um so my first concert was Queen. There was no opening act. The second concert I saw was Motley Crue with Alice Cooper as an opening act. So I saw Alice Cooper and Motley Crue. So that's three concerts. And then four years later in 2019, I saw Iron Maiden and an opening act. Their opening act was R- the Raven Age. My, and my friend who went with me asked me, "Did you have you heard of Raven Age? I said, no. And he's like, oh, they're the opening act. I'm like, oh. So I got to see the Raven Age, and they are amazing, okay? I want them to be performing in arenas more often. I do. I thought they were great. Um, But anyways, uh, 2019, I uh, I moved. I moved from my parents' house into a into an apartment, and that was amazing. Okay, the apartment that I that I'm living in right now, it's it's pretty good. It's decent. It's everything you need for a house is in the apartment. We're not done yet here. 2019 was a busy year. There's more to come. Stay tuned.